What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back up here at this new job. As you can see, the guys have made a bit of progress this morning. I was picking up a piece of equipment for our excavator, but they got here and you can see they started throwing in rafters for the two right side, well the center and the right side reverse gable. There is a third reverse gable on the left side here as well, which they have not done yet, but it is starting to come together. The exterior of this house is very nice. Obviously we have a chimney to frame here still. We have a window in the kitchen here, which we weren't exactly sure of the size yet. So we have that now that's right here. We're about to frame that in. And then the back side of this house, you guys saw this in the last video, but it looks super nice. The guys are getting the shed roof there, plywooded right now. The reverse gable looks super nice on the back here. And then they're getting plywood on the right side there as well. Hopefully by the end of the day, the back side of this house is all plywooded and the reverse gables on the front are framed in and we can start plywooding the front today, if not tomorrow morning. All right guys, we just got back to work after having some lunch and the two right side reverse gables are completely framed in and they just started the left one there. They got four of the rafters out in the soffit area on plus the ridge back into the main roof. So by the end of today, that'll be complete and hopefully couple pieces of plywood will be on the roof on this side. We also framed in the first floor section of this chimney here. Obviously it's going to have to go all the way up past the rafters. It has to be taller than the roof. It actually has to be taller than the ridge even though it's not centered on the house, there's certain footage per code of, I guess it's like uh, airflow or draft that you need from the top of your chimney to the roof. If we were a couple more feet this way, we could have just went a couple feet above the rafters and been done with framing, but because it is so close to the ridge, we have to extend it up higher than the ridge but that'll get framed a different day. We also framed in this kitchen window here. We got the height off of the floor there. That is complete. 
and get that window in now once we have it we were unsure of the height of that based off the kitchen layout that they had going on in there and then these guys have this shed roof all plywooded plus a couple pieces on the walls to the side of the window there they're gonna have to do a little rip underneath the window the only reason we're doing that is for the weather watch to go up the walls we are not shingling this house but we are doing the weather watch and the deco armor on it so we need to get the plywood on in order to lay that down but let me go climb up to the second floor and we'll take a look at those reverse gables showed this at all yet in any of the videos but this is the attic space which is very big with the steep rafters it gives you a ton of room up here but you can see the opening for staircase this is how you'll come up out of this lower bedroom here and you have a ton of storage up here obviously we still have to frame the ceiling in the master here which is why there are no ceiling beams anywhere also if you're wondering why there's no gable studs in it's because there are windows in the end of each gable here we could do the first couple studs probably like the first eight feet or so but we have to frame in windows so we didn't want to throw the gable studs in and then end up cutting them out of our way you can see this reverse gable over here plus all the plywood going on and then if we peek out here you can see one two and the third reverse gable going in down there so this makes this house look super nice from the street or even from the backyard the exterior of this house is very nice but that's pretty much it for this one we're just gonna plywood and finish framing the rest of that reverse gable for the rest of the day so i'm gonna end this video here there's not really much to record you don't need to watch us throw plywood down for the rest of the day so if you guys have any questions or comments definitely leave them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can hope you guys enjoyed it See you guys next time. peace